Okay, so if you're watching this video, it means you gave up or you want to see some extra help on how to create this database service class. So we've created four different elements. We've got uh, delete one and insert one and what's the next one? Read all. And then finally we have uh, update one. So basically we have to copy the code that we created in the previous videos and adapt it to more general purpose. So let's see, let's start with the first one, delete one. Let's go find our code that we created in delete one and we're going to copy and paste and then we're going to adapt it. So let's copy the code that we created earlier and go to database services and inside here we'll paste it. Okay, so we're given a parameter of ID and we want to delete the item that is on that ID. So ID equals 6. Now I'm going to adapt this in a way where we can use uh, prepared statements. Prepared statements are preferred over these generic statements because they're more secure. Prepared statements work like this. You put in a question mark where you want your data and then you later you uh, apply the um, prepared statement to tell it what that question mark means. All right, if we're going to use prepared statements, we're going to make one little change here. Uh, in our statement command, we have the uh, data format as statement. I'm going to comment that out. And instead, we're going to use something called a prepared statement. So let's say prepared statement. And let's call the same thing stmt equals null. Now, a prepared statement has to have an import, it looks like. So we'll import it from Java SQL. And so now you see down here in line 36 that we have something instead of create statement, we're supposed to do something else. What we do is we take our code and move it into here and we'll call it um, prepared statement. Let's see if I can find the help code. So I'm going to delete this and look for the uh, prepared statement helper. Okay, prepared statement, there it is. So we have one available that has just a string of a SQL statement. Perfect. So I'm going to take the code that we had earlier created and uh, move that up to here. Looks like we need quotation marks. And now that part is a prepared statement. Now we also have to tell the computer what this question mark means. So in the next line, we come down here and we say the stmt dot, and we're looking for a set command. Set and the type. Looks like we have strings and arrays. We're looking for a set integer. And sure enough, there's one there. So set integer. And so the parameter number. Well, we only have one up here one question mark, so the first parameter is 1. And the value that we want to assign to that comes from our parameter up here, this thing called ID. Alright, so now once we've got our prepared statement there, we do the execute update and we do not need to put in the string again. So it looks like that. So prepared statements have a little bit of difference. They have this uh, different type of statement type up here. We run the prepared statement with a string and a question mark. We have to assign the question mark to a value and then we execute it. So let's save that. Now we have ourselves a completed uh, operation it looks like. Oh, we got one more issue. We have to throw the declaration to do a SQL exception error. Okay, save it. Now, how are we going to test that? We're going to delete an item of ID something. So, we need to put this into operation. Let's go and resurrect our demo tool here. We've got ourselves uh, an insert here. Uh, I want to use the database service. So, let's, uh, let's create a new database service. Let's call this thing um, I'm going to use it as a DS equals a new database service. Okay, and that has to be imported. So let's see, where do we go? 
Okay, so it's not working because I spelled this guy over here wrong. Uh, rat. So I'm going to rename that thing. So database service has a double A in here. We need to rename that. So let's see. Refactor, rename, and database only gets one A. And let's finish here. Okay. So now, save it again. And let's see if we can import database service. Okay, that's looking better. So what did we do? We uh, created a new puppy and we add a list. Let's see, the last thing I want to do is delete something. So, okay, I'm going to pick an ID number to delete and put it here. So let's go check our database. It looks like we have one, two, and four. I want to delete number four. So let's go and hard code that in there. So it's going to be a ds dot and we have a delete one command. There we go, delete one and ID number four. Let's try that. And then, uh, what's the matter here? And we have to surround it again or add the throws exception. Let's do the throws exception this time. Okay, so now we're going to delete number four and then print them all. Well, that means number four, which is video games, should disappear. So let's run this. And we run it, and video game four does not show up here. And let's check our browse, and four is gone. Very good. So let's say that our database service now has a delete command, and it seems to be working. So let's see, delete one, I'm gonna shrink that. So now if you still think you need to see the whole thing, you can keep watching to the next video, but I think you could do insert and uh, read all. You could do them all on your own now. I'm, I'm serious. You can do this.